Google Classroom is an online learning management system that allows you to facilitate discussions, post materials such as videos and slides presentations, link to external websites, differentiate instruction, create assignments, and create quizzes. Today we're going to focus on how to differentiate using Google Classroom. So to start with that, I need to click on Classwork, and then I need to set up my topics that will represent my differentiation. But my first assignment will be for all of my students. It's my bell work. So I'll go ahead and click on Create, and then Topic. I want to click on, I want to name this one bell work, and then I'm going to add that. My first reading group is a fifth grade. It's on, they read on a fifth grade level and they are my red group. My next group is the blue group and they read on a fourth grade reading level. So I want my bell work to be at the very top. I want that to be the first thing that the students see. So I'll click on these three little dots and then move up. And then I can do that again, move up. Or I could have just dragged it all the way up to the top. Whichever works best for you. So for my bell work, I have some things saved in my Google Drive that we're going to link in the bell work. So I'm going to click on create, and then I want this to be a discussion. So I'm going to create a question, and we've been working on and have mastered author's purpose. So the question is, after reading the text, Discuss the author's purpose using evidence from the text. And now I want to add my text. So I'm going to click on Add. I know it's saved in Google Drive, so I'm going to click on Google Drive. And I know that it's saved in my AMI reading folder, so I'm going to click on my drive. Then I'll open my AMI reading folder, and then I need to go to my author's purpose task card. After the students read this card, then they will be prompted to answer my question about the author's purpose. I want them to do this in paragraph form. So I'm going to leave this as short answer. I could change it to multiple choice if I wanted to. Now I'm ready to assign it. I know that I only want this to go to this class. I could assign it to multiple classes if I wanted to, but I only want it to go to this class. If I did assign it to multiple of my classrooms, I would not be able to differentiate between students. You see now I am forced to only send this to all students. But if I only have one Google Classroom selected, I can click on all students and it shows me every student that is enrolled in this Google Classroom. And so I have the option of assigning it to all students, or I can uncheck that, and I can just select the ones I want it to go to. But for this one, I do want it to go to all students, so I'll check all students. And now, what is my point value? I just want this to be worth five points, and it is due on Friday and my topic this is very important my topic is bell work I want this assignment to be arranged underneath bell work and now I can click on ask or I have the option to save it as a draft to discard or I can schedule it in the future so if you're working on your plans a week in advance and you didn't want your students to see this until this time next week, you can schedule it to show up however long later in the future that you want it to. But I want this to show up immediately, so I'll go ahead and select Ask. 
And now the question is asked and you see that it's right here. Now, the assignment for my red group, which is my fifth grade reading level, is going to be an inferencing passage with the quids. So I wanna go ahead and make that an assignment. And I am going to go ahead and add their passage from my Google Drive. It's in my AMI reading folder as well. And it is my fifth grade inferencing passage. So the title is Well, I don't remember the title of it, so I'm going to open it up and I'm going to see the title of it. Making inferences in a fictional text, The Hazelnut Child. So I'm going to go ahead and go back here and The Hazelnut Child. Read the passage, then complete the comprehension questions in the Google form. Now, I want each student to have a copy of this because I want them to be able to use their extensions, their, their annotating extensions, to be able to mark it up to highlight that information from the text that they're going to need to help them finish the comprehension questions. If I didn't want them to each have a copy, I could just select students can view the file. And but and if this were not a PDF, I could select that say if this was a Google slide and I wanted five or six students to work on the same slide, if I selected students get can edit the file then they could all work on the same slide but for this one i want each student to get a copy and now i also need to add my assessment piece so i'm going to click on add and i'm going to select link for this one because this one is a quiz made out of a, a google form made into a quiz so that is kept in my AMI reading, and I just need to get that link. All right, so, oops. So that link is under send, and then I get the link, and then I can copy. I want to highlight that link and then copy it. And I just discovered that I have uploaded the wrong passage into my fifth grade. So I need to edit that. To do that, I can just click on this X. And that's gone. Now I can click on add again, go to my Google Drive, and this needs to be the Andean Condor. All right, so now I also need to make sure that it's in the correct Google Classroom. This one I do want to differentiate for. I need to select only the students in this group. And those students are Emily, Jose, Madison, and Bryson. And then I click out of that. And I want to set the due date for one week from tomorrow. And now my topic is the blue group. Now, I want to go ahead and have this assigned immediately, but I don't want it to be worth 100 points. It's worth, oops, 10 points. It's assigned to my four students in this group. 
and now I'm going to click Assign. All right, so now for my red group. I want my red group to work on some assignments in Moby Max. So all I need to do with them, I've made those assignments within Moby Max. All I need to do with them is link the Moby Max link to my Google Classroom. So I'm going to create material. Sign into Moby Max. To complete the assignment. So here I just want to copy my link, my uh, this, the address into the, I want to link the address in here. Now add link and they'll go to Moby Max. Many of you use Clever instead of linking Moby Max and that's okay. You could just give the instructions, go to Clever, go to Moby Max, do this assignment. And I want to uh, give that just to the students who are in this group. And those students are Arista, Kamari, Alexandra, and Angelina. Now it needs to be under the red group. We need to organize it correctly and I want to go ahead and assign this. Now I have the red group working in Moby Max. I have the blue group reading and annotating a passage and answering questions in a Google form. And all of them, because they have mastered author's purpose, they're all completing the same bell work. And that is how you differentiate using Google Classroom.